we've still got a while to wait until we can head back to the theatre, which is so exciting. I cannot wait till that happens. Uh, but friends Denise Van Alten and Tasmin Outhwaite have found a way to bring the West End back to life. Yeah, they are teaming up to bring us a special Easter performance and they join us now to tell us more. Morning, Morning Tamsin girls. and Denise, great to have you with Hi. us. Uh, Denise, yeah, come to you first. So, uh, I mean, I spoke to you on the radio the other day, so I feel like I'm, I'm telling my granny a suck expert. <laughs> <laughs> you originally wrote the play in 2013, uh, and you had plans to bring it back to the West End last year. So why did you decide to do the live stream? And, 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 and as well as that, what was your initial inspiration for the idea? OK, well, going back, I wrote this in 2013 with my friend Terry Ronald, and it was after watching the movie Shirley Valentine, which I absolutely loved. And I remembered it being out in the 80s and my mum and all her friends being really affected by it in as much as, you know, it changed a lot of women's perception of life. You know, they suddenly saw there was this big wide world out there and they escaped their, their marriages that they were in that weren't happy in. So I thought, what is the modern day equivalent? So my character that I'm playing in this play film, which we're calling a film, um, she's a really strong businesswoman and she's come to a crossroads in her life where she can't decide whether or not she wants to stay in her marriage or if she wants to explore the world, potentially maybe even revisit an old flame who gets in touch with her. Yeah. So it's all about life-changing decisions. So we did it in 2014 in the West End and it sold out at the Arts Theatre in London. And then I was gonna put it on last year, but we went into a lockdown. And because of the situation with theatres at the moment, I just thought, you know, people do love theatre and they do wanna see theatre. So streaming at the moment is the modern way to do theatre so people can still see a play, a show in their homes from the comfort of their own home. Such a good idea, yeah. isn't it? Absolute genius. And, and Tamsin, <laughs> what was it like when you actually got the call from Denise saying, Babes, I want you to direct this. What was that like? Because I know you've directed before. So was you excited? Was you like, why do you even need me? Well, um, I was obviously honoured and we had talked about working together on something else before. So I knew that we had a passion to work together. And when Denise asked me this, I, I was like, well, why me? Because you've already put this on. It's already been sellout audiences. Yeah. It's been a success. Why would you need... But actually, she needed another pair of eyes, um, really, to see how you bring something from um, a stage, which is really successful, but bring it all right down so that you are performing for a camera. And it's just one camera, and an awful lot of the time, you're just in the eyes. Yeah. So we don't need a great big performance. And Denise is really quite larger than life in lots of ways. And what she was asking me to do was... <laughs> Tone her down. <laughs> no, in a brilliant way. But what she was asking me to do was to kind of scale it all down and pull it all back. And the rawness that came out of me just being another pair of eyes saying, OK, internalise this section. You don't need to perform or demonstrate how you're feeling. You just need to, in this section, internalise it and pull it right back because we can see everything you're thinking. And it was it was quite a revelation because the rawness that comes out of Denise, she's so talented. And I'm just so pleased everyone's going to get to see that. Yeah, I mean, it's... so. I mean, it's being live streamed, isn't it? Which means the show's available to buy online and percentages of the profits going to charity. Tell us about the Make a Difference charity. Uh, so it's an amazing charity that I've been supporting throughout the pandemic. I released a single for them not so long ago. They basically look after all the people within the arts who work backstage. So when you go to the theatre, there's a lot of people that you don't always see. You've got your stage hands, you know, the costumes, the wigs department, the ushers who take you to your seat, the box office stuff. A lot of these people haven't had furlough or government funding of any sort throughout the pandemic. And so what this charity does is it supports them by giving them small grants just so they can put food on the table, pay their bills, you know, their rent, their mortgage, help towards their mortgages, just to keep them afloat so that we can keep this in industry going. I mean, the arts has really suffered. Oh, I'm so glad that you're doing that. And Denise, I've got to ask about your health. Obviously, we all know about your shoulder being injured on Dancing on Ice. How are you? How's the recovery going? Do you know what? I'm actually not doing too badly. I've I've had sort of seven weeks of physio and they've really looked after me at ITV. I've got to be honest with physio and everything. So, um, yeah, I'm doing my exercises every day. I'm being a good girl. Um, I've managed to escape having to have an op, which is great news. Um, so I'm just now it's just doing the physio and keeping myself moving. 
Maybe skating's not for you, darling. It's a hard shot. <laughs> that, <though. laughs> it's so hard. I mean, it's harder than I ever imagined, and I wasn't very good at it, to be honest. <laughs> and, Tan, you, you've been shooting as well during lockdown. You shot a, uh, you shot a show in your own home with the great Judy Graham, didn't you, called Dumbreeden on YouTube? We did. We shot Dumbreeden, which she wrote, with some great actors. Angela Griffin, Denise Welsh was in it. That's my little... That's my daughter, my youngest. And she played the young me oh, in a dream. Keep it in the family, oh, babes. Keep it in the family. <laughs> yeah, because we had to. Because we, what Julie did was say, right, what, what resources do I have? I mean, really, this industry that we're all in is so resilient, isn't it? Because we've all found new ways to make things work. And to shoot a series at home using the only people in your house was just... It was really innovative, the way they did that. So, yeah... It feels like if we can get through that as, as an industry, we can get through anything, really. Yeah. Well, listen, best so of luck fun. with it. So, yeah, some girl I used to know live streaming from Friday to Monday over the Easter weekend on the 2nd, the 3rd, the 4th and the 5th of And it's April. only a tenner. And it's only a it's tenner. It's a now. bargain. So good. And Thank I'll be watching. So very, very oh, good in wait. it. We're going to be watching. Oh, thanks, thank Denise. You. Thanks, Pam. Bye. Thanks, Brian. Bye. Bye.